Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everyone, welcome to the class. Well, in our previous class, we did time and we learnt how to ask time, we learnt how to tell time. With that, we also did how to tell about your hobby or how to ask someone about their hobby. So today, we will do something new. We will continue with time, of course, but learn new expressions, new time expressions, new vocabulary and lot of other things. Last time we did time as in Ichiji, Niji, Sanji, Yoji, Goji, Rokuji, Shichiji, Hachiji, Kuji, Juji, Juichiji, Juniji. So now today, how will you tell other things that you require for time like minutes, if you want to say one and a half hours or you want to say it's 1.30. So today, for that, we will work over here. Now, as you can see on your screens, this is written Han. It is pronounced as Han and Han means half actually, half. Now, half of what? As we are dealing with time, half of one hour. So half of one hour is 30 minutes. Now, 30 minutes is Han in Japanese. Now, this Han, as you can see over here, can be added to time like Ichiji. You can say Ichiji Han, meaning 130. But what you have to remember is that it is Ichiji Han. Ichiji Han. And please remember not Ichi Han Ji. So, you have to remember that Han has to come after the counter Ji. It is listed over here. You can repeat after me Ichi Ji Han, Ni Ji Han, San Ji Han, Yo Ji Han, Go Ji Han. Rokuji Han, Shichiji Han, Hachiji Han, Kuji Han, Juji Han, Ju Ichiji Han, and Juniji Han. So now you can easily say it is 1.30, it is 2.30, it is 3.30. It can be said like this, Ima. Ichiji Han this. Over here, it is all in hiragana, so you can practice your hiragana as well. As you can see over here, Han means half, but refers to 30 minutes when it is added after the time counter G. Ichiji Han means 130 or 1 hour and 30 minutes. Well, you can practice this again with your partner. You can show time and then answer. Okay, so now you can practice Han over here with your partner. You can show what time it is and you can also tell after that. Now, you could say Ima nanji desu ka? Ima juniji Han desu. Ima nanji desu ka? Ima Ichiji Han desu. Ima nanji desu ka? Ima niji Han desu. So, you can continue practicing like this with your partner. This will give you practice and this will help you with your words, with vocabulary. You will feel more comfortable after you have 
done this exercise right till the end. It gives you a lot of confidence if you are able to speak the words properly, clearly and it is understood by the person you are talking to. Now, you have said 130, you have asked time ima nanji desu ka, ima ima juichi ji han desu as we did right here, you have done this one. So, now on your screens you can also see that something else is there, fun and fun, this means minutes, these are two readings for minutes in Japanese. So, now how do you how do you practice that? So, if it is 120, what will you say now? You have done nijuppun, so ichiji nijuppun this. Now, you have to remember one thing that juppun, juppun can also be written as jippun. So, both are used very freely in Japanese. Over here, this is ichiji nijuppun or ichiji nijuppun, whichever you want to say. Now, this is pun or fun. Ni is added over here and pun and fun is for minutes. In a similar manner, you can say ichiji gohun desu, ichiji juppun desu, ichiji jugohun desu, ichiji nijugohun desu. Ichiji sanjupun desu or ichiji han desu. Also, you can add gozen or gogo -go before time and you will know whether it is am or pm and you can practice like this. Now, as you can see, the counter for minutes is pun or fun. Now, you can practice with me how to say Ippun nihun. So, after me you could repeat Ippun nihun and fur over here is actually how you blow air out. If you cannot say that, you can always say hun, it does not matter. Sampun yumpun gohun. Ropun, Nanahun, Hapun, Kyuhun, Juppun or Jippun, Jugohun, Sanjuppun or Han as we did a little while back. And of course, when you have to ask how many minutes, you can use the question word nan with pun. So, it becomes nam pun ima nam pun desu ka, class wa ichiji nam pun kara desu ka. So, you can ask any questions. Now, you have done hiru, hiru. Hiru as you already know is 12 o'clock or noon and yasumi is to relax or yasumi is a holiday, a vacation, relaxing or just a break. So, hiru yasumi wa nanji kara desu ka? Hiru, hiru yasumi wa nanji kara desu ka? So, you can tell time. Hiru yasumi wa ju, ju niji kara desu. You can tell time, you can answer or if your hiru yasumi, your lunch break is from 1 o'clock, ichiji kara desu. So, now for hiru yasumi, you can also replace hiru yasumi with a lot of lot of things that you have done earlier like gakko, gakko wa nanji kara desu ka, kaigi 
は何時からですか or 銀行銀行は何時からですか of course this pattern you have already done what we need to practice here is minutes so hiro yasumi wa 12 時半からです12時半からです学校は7時15分からです会議は3時20分からです銀行は10時10分からです。Now you can again add go go or go zen to it and practice with your partner. So please try practicing minutes. So you have hiro yasumi wa nanji kara desu ka? Niji kara sanji han made desu. You have hapyo over here. Hapyo is presentation. Hapyo wa nanji kara desu ka? So the answer is already here for you. Gozen kuji ni juppun kara ju ichi ji made desu. Kogi, which is a lecture, wa nanji kara desu ka? Kogi wa gogo sanji han kara goji made desu. Then you have gakko. And you can practice with your partner. The time over here. Jugyo, which is class. Again, you can practice whether it is you can use go go, you can use go zen, any way you want to say. And then, Nihongo class wa nanji kara desu ka? And again, time is given. You can ask your partner and practice. Well, now there is a small audio for you. Just listen to the audio. Any new word we will try to do in class. Ima nanji desu ka? Juji han desu. Ano, Nihongo class wa juichi ji kara desu ne? Iie, chigaimasu. Class wa juichi ji han kara desu. Arigato gozaimasu. I am sure most of it is understood. Only two new words are there for you. One is ano and the other one is chigaimasu. This is your script. Go over it, read it. You can practice hiragana and kanji like this. Then you have the explanation here. Anywhere you get stuck, you can look up the explanation in English. You have done one ano earlier in your previous class, one of the previous classes, which was ano. Ano means that person or that object over there. Well, now this is another ano for you A N O O. There is a difference in the spelling and, of course, meaning as well. This ano, as I told you just now, is over there, and this ano is an informal way. Of、um, attracting someone's attention or informal way to say, please listen, please, I want your attention. So, ano ima nanji desu ka? As is there in the previous,、uh, in the audio you heard. There's another、uh, word over here, chigaimasu. Chigaimas. Well, chigaimas is literally means it is different, meaning that it is different from what you are saying. I do not mean this, it is something different. Chigaimas. Ima ichi ji desu ka? Iie, chigaimas. Ima ichi ji han desu. So that is how you would use chigaimas. Now, we have done hiragana syllables earlier. We have done the additional sounds in hiragana earlier. Now, these are, these are some new sounds which we had left. The first one is kya. You know that the ya series, the ya syllable, has only three ya, yu, and yo. In the ya series, 
ye is not there and ye is not there. So, only ya, you and yo are there. Now, we are going to make these additional hiragana with ya, you and yo. Now, the first sound that we have is the k sound or the ka series. So, well, how will we make this short sound kya? Now, what happens is ki plus ya from here. The k sound ki plus ya will make kya. If you do it in hiragana, ki and ya is given. Now, as you cannot cut it or reduce it in any manner, what is done? The, in Roman, the e part is removed and then you put ya over here like kya, the short sound kya, k plus ya. Now, you have to keep one thing in mind that when you put the ya over here, this is a small ya and it is on the line and then only it becomes kya. If it is on the line like this, then it is ki and ya, it becomes two syllables over here one is short and one is a full syllable. Now, when you look at this, this seems like a full syllable and this seems like a small sound, but it is just the other way around. This is a small sound and this is a full syllable kya, kya. You can repeat after me. Kya, Q, Kyo, Sha, Shu, Sho, Cha, Chu, Cho, Nya, New, Nyo, Hya, Hu. Hyo. Well, we will be needing these now because we will be doing a lot of words with these kind of sounds. One of them you did in, in your previous slide which was hapyo. 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 So, the pyo sound is a quick sound please. Now, well, what are we going to do today? We just practiced 30, how to say 30 minutes or han. So, kaigi wa rokuji han kara desu. Now, just listen to this dialogue and let us see how many words you can catch, how much you can understand and of course, we will do the explanation later. Ashita wa kinyobi desu ne. はい、そうです。本田先生のクラスです。そうね。先生のクラスは何時からですか午前10時半から11時半までです。クラスは3階の会議室ですね。いいえ、2階の会議室です。どうも。This is a dialogue between two people, Kim and Mira. 明日は金曜日ですね。はい、そうです。本田先生のクラスです。そうね。先生のクラスは何時からですか午前10時半から11時半までです。クラスは3階の会議室ですね。いいえ、2階の会議室です。どうも。So, this, so, this is a conversation between Kim and Mira and Kim wants to know where 
the class is, what floor is the class. There are a lot of new words, a lot of time expressions. Ashta is tomorrow, Kiyobi is Friday and Ne. This is a new particle, so we will do it right now. So, now what is the answer Meera gives? Meera says, Hai, so desu. Honda sensei no class desu. I am sure this is understood. It is Honda sensei's class. So ne, so desu ne. Short form of so desu ne is so ne. That's right. Sensei no class wa nanji kara desu ka? Gozen juji han. We did just now. Han is 30. Juji han kara ju ichi ji han made desu. It is from 10.30 till 11.30. Now, Kim San wants to know, class wa sangai no kaigi shitsu desu ne. Sangai is, san is 3 and gai is the floor of a building or stories. So, class wa third floor no kaigi shitsu, conference room desu ne. Iie, nikai, the second floor no kaigi shitsu, which is conference room again desu. So, no, it is on the second floor in the kaigi shitsu and of course, thank you for telling me. This is in English, you can go over it. So, first of all, days of the week, getsu yobi, kayobi, suiyobi, Mokuyobi, Kinyobi, Doyobi, and Nichi Yobi. So we have Getsuyobi, Getsuyobi, Kayobi, Suyobi. Mokuyobi, Kinyobi, Doyobi, Nichiyobi. So, you can practice this out aloud later on at home. And of course, we did time expressions, we did one time expression just now, which was Ashta. So, the others are well, we start with ashita over here. Ashita, asatte, kyo, oto toi. Kino and Oto toi. So, you have kyo, ashita, asatte, kino and oto toi. Now, you can practice this out over here. We start with oto toi. Oto toi. Kino. Kyo. Ashita. Asatte. So, these are some new time expressions, some new vocabulary for you to learn. So, you can do this. Now, we have ashita wa kinyobi desu. Now, what you can do is, you have this pattern over here, time expressions you already know. A shita wa kinyobi desu. Simple, you can tell ashita wa kinyobi desu. Tomorrow is Friday or you can also ask ashita wa getsuyobi desu ka? Ashita wa getsuyobi desu ka? So, this can be a question. Hai, ashita wa getsuyobi desu or ashita wa getsuyobi de wa arimasen. Any of these you can tell. Of course, we will practice with this first and then do Deva arimasen. Ashita wa mokuyobi desu. Ashita wa kayobi desu. Asatte wa kinyobi desu.
日は日曜日です。明日は日曜日です。明日は休みです。Tomorrow is a holiday. So you can practice this, please. Now, we can do the same exercise with deva arimasen as I just told you. This or this or deva arimasen. We did it in the beginning. This is positive and deva arimasen is negative for this. So, asatte wa kin yobi deva arimasen. Asatte wa suyobi deva arimasen. Asatte wa doyobi deva arimasen. Or, ashita wa kinyobi desu, as we did just a while back. Kyo wa kaiyobi desu ka? It's a question. Ashita nichiyobi desu. Ashita nichiyobi desu ka? Or, you can also ask, ashita wa naniyobi. Ashita wa naniyobi desu ka? That could be a question and you can answer. Now, we have done this. Deva arimasen. This is positive and Deva arimasen is negative as you already know. Now, what is the past? Deshita. Deshita. Please get the pronunciation deshita and the i over here is a little silent deshita and deva arimasen is from here of course negative and past is deshita. So, this negative deva arimasen past deshita and past negative is deva arimasen. So, now you can practice. Kino wa kinyobi deshita. Yesterday it was Friday. Ashita wa nan yobi desu ka? Ashita wa do yobi desu. So, you can practice this over here. It is given. You can do it with your partner. Also, previous in our previous lessons, we have done A desu ka? B desu ka? So, instead of A, you can have kayobi. B also you can have one of these uh, kinyobi, kinyobi or doyobi and you can practice. Ashita wa, ashita wa kayobi desu ka? Kinyobi desu ka? Kyo wa Kyo wa kaiyobi desu ka? Kinyobi desu ka? Asatte wa doyobi desu ka? Nichiyobi desu ka? You can practice this pattern as well with this. Now, we have, we have done minutes, we have done 130, we have done ichiji nijuppun, ichiji han, ichiji sanjuppun, ichiji yonjuppun. Now, what about it is quarter to two? 145 can also be said as it is quarter to 2. It is very simple, nothing much is to be done over here. Well, 145 is Ichiji Yonju Gohun, and quarter to 2 would be Niji Ju Gohun Mae desu. Now, Mae means before or earlier. So, Ichiji Yonju Gohun would be. 1 hour 45 minutes and quarter to 2 would be Niji, you say the time first, Niji ju gohun mai desu. It is 15 minutes to 2. You can practice over here. Piano recital wa nanji made deshita ka? Gogo goji yonju gohun made deshita or rokuji ju gohun mae made deshita. 
So, you have a lot of things. Undokai is sports meet, dorama you already know, kurasu pati. You can practice these over here at home. Now, there was a new particle which we did, particle ne, particle ne. As ka, particle ne also comes at the end completely and it actually is a confirmation seeker. It requires the listener to say something in response to what is being asked, what is being said. So, particle ne is a confirmation seeker and used to solicit agreement from the listener and it is equivalent to is not it right and do not you agree in English and it always comes in the end. It has a rising intonation as well. For example, I know that you all are students, but still I just want to confirm I meet someone outside I might have forgotten and I say gakusei desu ne. So, the intonation you can see is rising and it means aren't you a student or ima ichiji desu ne. So, is not it 1 o'clock now? So, that is how ne is to be used. Now, in the conversation we also had kai or another reading for kai is gai. This is a counter used for counting floors in a building or to count stories of a building. This is a suffix and has two readings as I just told you. Kono biru wa nankai desu ka? How many floors are there in the building? You can practice kai with me now, kai or gai and see how it is different, where it is different, where gai is to be used and where kai is to be used. Ikkai, nikai, sangai, sangai means the third floor and you will see kai changes to gai. Well, you have seen the same change in hyaku and byaku as well. So, generally the number 3 changes with the counter. You will notice it later on also. So, keep it in mind. Yonkai, Gokai, Rokkai, Nanakai, Hakkai, Kyukai, Jukkai. Now, you will see the ones written in purple are a little different. How are they different? Well, Gai you just understood. Ikkai over here is a quick sound. It is a short sound in a similar manner. Rokkai and Hakkai are also short sounds and Q over here Kyukai. It is not Kukai which is K U, it is Q Kai. So, these are different. Again, Jukkai over here is a short sound. So, you have exceptions in purple. Try to remember the exceptions and then in the end we have Ju Ikkai, which is very, very easy 10 plus 1 Ju Ikkai. So, this is floors on a building for you, which is kai and gai. You can practice. Nihongo class wa nankai desu ka? Anata no uchi wa kono biru no nankai desu ka? So, these you can practice at home and you can answer very, very simple questions. Now, as we always do, we will do some new kanji characters also today. Kanjis, as I have told you earlier also, are pictograms and ideograms where a certain a certain idea is depicted in lines basically straight lines. So, these lines are drawn from left to right and from top to bottom always ending on the right corner of the block over here. Now, kanji can be kanji has a meaning definitely it can be it, it is complicated also, 
one character can have two, three kanji characters, a combination of kanji characters and then it can be written. So, over here in the first character that we have, you will see that this character you have done earlier. This means 8. If you remember, we did this character, this is Hachi and now when you put this over here, it means Pun. Pun means minutes. So, this character together means minutes. Now, how has it come into being? Well, Hachi as I told you earlier is like this, like this, all the four fingers like this. This means to divide, to, to separate and with what do you separate? Well, the basic thing you separate anything with or cut anything with is the knife. So, this has come into being, this character has come into being with basic meaning is separate and from knife, you cut it with knife, you separate it. So, this is pun. Now, this is a four stroke character for you over here, one, two, three and four meaning pun. The next character that we have here is Han, Han, one, two, three, four and five. So, basically you cut a board into two half pieces like this, like this. This is the board, this is the board and you cut it into two. So, once again for you one, 2, 3, 4 and 5, Han, Han. How many strokes are there in this character please? Can someone tell? Well, we will count once again 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, we have 5 strokes in this character. Now, the next one is Now, we will do days of the week. You have done the days of the week, you know the word, you know how to pronounce it. Now, we will do the kanji character for it. You can see on your screens over here, monitors that ski is made. You did this character if you remember, this character, this is sun, nichi. It is like this, divided into two day and night. So, well, with the moon, what happens is the moon expands and increases and decreases. Waxing and waning of the moon is there. For that, because it is open, it is not closed, leave the space open and make ski like this, meaning moon, su ki. Basic meaning is moon, like this one, two, and three and four. So, this means also month. Associated meaning is month. Basic meaning is moon. Similar to this, only it is open because of the waxing and waning of the moon. Now, the next character is he which means fire, which is Kayobi as you did, Kayobi, ka yo bi. So, fire is actually made like this, like this and with the flames over here like this, something somewhat like this. So, well, the character for it is 1, 2. This character also you have done earlier, this is Hito, this character is Hito meaning a person and if you add flames to it, well it becomes He which is fire. So, whenever you see this character, this character then it will immediately you will understand that it is something to do with 
fire. Anything, anywhere where fire is required, for example, a fire engine or forest fire or a burn, every time this character will be written over there. Now, the next one is Mizu. Mizu. Mizu means water as you can see. Well, water flows like this, flows like this. I am sure whenever you see these lines anywhere, immediately water comes to your mind. So, you turn it by 90 degrees, 1, 2, 3 and 4 like this. So, this is how it is made. Turn this 90 degrees and 1, 2, 3 and 4. It is a 4 stroke character as is he. He is also a 4 stroke character. This is also a 4 stroke character. Basic meaning is Mizu which is water and associated meanings are lots, but for the time being we are just going to do this reading Mizu. Yobi, Yobi, Yobi is day as in as in uh, Getsu Yobi, Kayobi, Suyobi, Mokuyobi. It is a difficult character, but is made out of 3 4 characters. Now, you will see this character you have done Nichi which means day. Now, this character this over here means wings of a bird and this means a bird itself a fat bird. So, yo is a complicated character of about 18 strokes. I will do it once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. In all it is an 18 stroke character where the sun goes from flies from this place to this place on the wings of a fat bird. That is how Yobi has come into being and you can see once again for you of course, you do not have to remember the character at all. You do not have to write it down. This is a difficult character. Concentrate only on the simple ones at the moment. Well, now we have also Ima, Ima nanji desu ka. So, a character for Ima, Ima meaning now like this, like this simple 1, 2, 3 and 4. It is a 4 stroke character Ima meaning now. These are some of the kanjis Getsu yobi, suyobi, kayobi, yobi, yo and Ima. Now, some words with kanji characters. First character that we did was pun. So, bubun you can see is portion. These are just characters, new vocabulary for you, just for you to remember this. We will use these words later on, thus, you need to know them now. Jibun, the meanings are given. So, hambun, hambun is half of anything, half portion of something is hambun. Hantoshi is half a year or six months. Hinichi is date and day. Ichinichi is one day. Nisan nichi is 2 3 days. Then some more words Ichigatsu, Hitotsuki, Kazan, Hi, Hanabi, Mizu, Suie, Suido. So, these are some new words for you. 
whatever vocabulary we did is right here. Undokai, you can repeat after me. Undokai, Bangohan, Juku, Kyoshitsu, Kaigishitsu. Hea, Yakyu, Jugyo. So, these are some new words, new vocabulary. Now is the tough part, you have your assignments now, you have to do those at home. Now, these are some, some pictures for you and you have to write the kanji for these characters. Kanjis are important because Japanese cannot be written only in hiragana, katakana or kanji. All three scripts are done simultaneously. So, please we need to learn kanji as well. It is an important part, integral part of the language and why we cannot write Japanese in one script only. Well, this is another one. Just write the readings for the kanji characters here. I think we have done quite a bit for today. Lot of things we have learned lot of uh, new expressions, lot of new words, vocabulary, also the past and the present forms we have done. So, we will end here. I will finish over here for you today. Let us meet again tomorrow. So, minasan, kore de oarimasu. Ashita mata aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.